I'm now live. Uh, today we're going to talk about money, food, sex, and success, and seeds. These things, the way we spend money, the way we eat food, the way we decide on the sex we'll have, and the way we react to and um, achieve success all has a lot to do with our emotions. In November, I'm not as happy. It's gray and when I have um, those emotions come up, I wanna have hot chocolate. I wanna have sweet things that I never ever crave in the rest of the year, ever, 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 ever. So, so these are tough months for our emotions and they make you make decisions about food, sex, money, and success that you normally wouldn't make. When you're down, you lose your appetite. When you're down, you might control things. But you might spend more money. You might buy more things when you're down. You And when you're up, your emotions can make you do crazy things too. Your emotions determine so much of what you do. Your emotions, feeling depressed can make you wanna go have sex because you wanna feel good. You wanna create something in the world. Feeling depressed can make you want to spend lots of money on expensive things that you can't afford. Feeling depressed can make you want to quit something because you're tired, like acting, for example. Your emotions have a profound effect on your behavior in the world. But the great thing is you can prep yourself to feel better. You can create the emotions in you. Actors know this more than anybody else. But but people people make profoundly stupid decisions based on them and uh, based on a thing emotions that are happening for an instant. Because if you ride it out long enough, emotions change. And actors know that we can change those emotions ourselves. You can change that emotion. You can create a different emotion within yourself. So you can set up your emotions. You can create the kinds of emotions that will protect you from making stupid mistakes. One of the stupid mistakes that people do when um, they're feeling down is they think, um, I'll spend this money now and I'll make more later. Or I'll eat this now and I will go exercise later. Or I'll start to be picky about who I have sex with <laughs> later because right now this person in front of me is making it really hard for me to not have sex or whatever. And the thing about actors is they also think I'll do the things that I need to do to be successful later when I get successful. Actually, I think a lot of people do that. I only know actors. I mean, I know other humans, but I only really know actors. So, so this, these emotions create this craziness in you that makes you use money, food, sex, and the things that will get you success, the things that will grow success in ways that are completely irrational, completely irrational. And I don't even have to ask you if this is a real thing because I know it's a real thing and here's what we're going to do plant the seed I believe that you are probably bred for this I believe that like a sports gene or a, a other gift a musical gene or whatever actors are born with something in them um, I think that there's a genetic component to creativity. And I think that we have this component within us. And then like a seed, it will not grow without the correct, the correct circumstances. You need to have an environment that grows. Seeds will remain dormant for years and years and years, hundreds of years, and then grow up. Our gift as artists is in the soil of our souls and in the soil of our souls 
we just have to let that gift rise up and grow. But so often parents, friends, um, people who are, are meant to support us or, or nurture us like our mentors, our teachers, diminish the value of the soil. The seed needs light and love and we can nurture it. We can nurture that seed of creativity by creating a, a beautiful emotional world for that seed to live in. So when you're creating a, an environment for that seed to grow in, you can learn to create the emotional world that it needs. So often actors think the thing that the seed needs is stimulation. The seed needs to be stimulated. The seed needs to be excited. The seed needs what it needs. And you need to give the seed what it needs to grow and not feel like, like there's any shame. So let's, uh, let's look at a feeling of happiness. Let's start with a feeling of happiness. And then on top of that feeling of happiness, we're going to create courage. And then on top of that feeling of courage, we're going to create optimism. So we're going to layer them. Okay. So I want you to either with your eyes closed or open, whatever works for you. I want you to use your hands from your toes to the top of your head. Fill yourself with happiness. It does not have to be rational. It just has to be done. Fill yourself up. And while you're doing it, make it a bit sparkly. Lily's got a bit of a sparkle to it. That's to it, to her. Let's bring the... Cool. So that's the, pre, the primary emotion we're going to start with. The next emotion we're going to feel is courage. So we're just going to do this when you're happy. You're just going to do this physical emotion with happiness. Yes, courage. You're going to think of yourself as courageous. Yes, I will. Yes. Yes. So I want you to feel that like there's something out there that's hard to get and you're going to go for it. You're going to get it. The courage. And then the optimism kind of comes with the courage, doesn't it? The optimism kind of feels like the courage. Do you feel it? So we're going to make it feel a little bit more fun. We're going to be like, yeah, we're gonna like, yeah, we're going to just yeah. <laughs> sprinkle it around. So now I want to tell you when an obstacle comes, it doesn't mean that you won't feel bad. It just means that you won't feel as bad. It just means that you'll have the baseline temperature to be able to deal with things when you create that optimum emotional feeling for yourself that allows you to go out and do difficult things and then face difficult reactions to your work. Um, so you want, you want the right emotional temperature to get you through the difficult times, but also to help you deal with the good times, because when the good times happen, it complicates things. You have to probably find childcare or whatever it is that you need to do. So all of that stuff, all of the emotional work that you do can prepare you to create a really incredible successful journey for yourself. It's something you can add to your toolkit to create success for yourself as an actor, because you're going to be in the right emotional state to make that happen. That's a wrap for me. I will see you on screen and don't forget to be so good. They can't not hire you. Yeah, be good. All right. Bye. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this free acting class. Pop any questions in the comments below so I can help you out. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a single lesson. Even better, if you want to join our free classes, the link is right below and you can join us in our free Facebook group. We'll see you on screen.